where we left off, we had we did some of the main story quest. Uh, we finished the one where we had to go get the the uh, the Dwemer puzzle box, and then I went to talk to Caius. Um, he had me go talk to some informants. Came back, and uh, we couldn't get any more quests from him because I think we either have to level up or we have to wait a little bit and then come back. Uh, so I'll try talking to him again in a moment, but. Uh, we also did some some Mages Guild quests yesterday as well. So at the end of last stream, yeah, we left off killing a Necromancer. Or no, 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 we didn't kill the Necromancer. My bad. We let the Necromancer go, but they're going to leave Vardenfell. They're going to go for the mainland of Morwen. Booba, <laughs> booba like boom. Yeah, that's what happens. The little nipple flaps pop up, and then you end up with guns just poking out. Okay, let's see. Let's, uh, what time is it? It is 3 p.m. Um, do we have anything that we can drop real quick? Oh, I had the skull, right. I was going to replace the, uh, the skull. Because I had that one skull. I'll just toss it right there for now. I had that one skull, but it turned out that that was a skull for a quest. And so I had to turn it in. So let's come up here. Wait, wait do I, do I have all of my alchemy stuff still? Oh, shit, I do. Did I never put this back? I was running... Wait, like going on the ground? I was running around the entire time with this. These things are very heavy, by the way. Like, that's 13 pounds. That's 5 pounds. Like, they're, they're, they're beefy, man. I can't be doing that. You never realized that the Mage's Guild was uh, the freaking Morrowind mob? Yeah, the Mage's Guild in this game is ridiculous, man. They're, they're like, hey, go kill these people. And like instead of going like, hey, go find these, uh, go go find these ancient artifacts and like get this book and like learn this this magic and everything, or go help these people. No, nah, they're like, hey, this person hasn't paid their dues. Go murder them. <laughs> go get the money or murder them. The Mages Guild in Morrowind is uh, they're intense, man. They are way different than in the later games. They don't play around, man. They want that money. God, I wish that there was a faster way to do this. There might be. I just don't know what it is. Oh, all that moon sugar. We have some skooma too, don't we? Yeah, I do. Let's take that and put it like right there. Yes, sir, Kor. I, <laughs> I need a specific person's skull. They died centuries ago, so it'll be difficult to find. Oh, yeah, I got that right here. There you go. Yeah, that kind of was, it was kind of, uh, that was the situation. I, I literally just had it in my house because I randomly was going through caves and stuff and exploring. And then I found that skull and I was like, hey, that skull looks cool. I'm going to stash it in my house. And they they were like, oh, it's gonna be difficult to find. Uh, you're gonna have to deal. You're gonna have to deal with some some threats because of like the ancestors that are guarding it and stuff. And I'm just like, oh, I have it. <laughs> I already have it. It's fine. No worries. It's kind of oh, will not fit. Oh, these things have the chests actually have uh, limits. I didn't realize that. Uh, it's the same thing with this thing. I have this schoolma pipe that I found, and I don't know who it belongs to. Hold on, let me move this up since I'm. Not using the webcam thing. Um, I have the skooma, the skooma pipe, and it, I mean it has the name on it, but like there's no quest assigned to it, so I, I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing a uh, a quest for that or not. Okay, those in, put these in, put these in. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're at 112 pounds out of 305. We have beefed up some, man. You forgot Morrowind containers have limits. Mod that shit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I need I need convenience mods. I don't I don't think I have any convenience mods. The only mods that I have that actually affect the game outside of like the patches that you know fix bugs, uh, and the texture ones. Actually, you know what? I think there. are are some in OpenMW that I have enabled uh, for that that might have some convenience to it. I'm on the wrong side, damn it. But uh, the only the only ones that I that I actually have that you know don't kind of fit the vanilla experience is uh, the ones where like they have more greeting lines. But make it quick. That, that's a <laughs> it's just an audio one. 
But I, I, I did say that I wanted to kind of go through this mostly I've vanilla. I've it over, and I want you to interview three informants in Vivek City concerning the Nerevarine and the Sixth House. I already did that, Caius. What are you talking about? <laughs> I, I already did that. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can take orders from you now. Uh, we need an Ashlander informant. We heard of a fellow Aldrun uh, named Hassauer, uh, an Ashlander who left the Waste to become a wealthy trader. They say the Ashlanders like to give and receive presents. Take these 100 drakes, find out what uh, Zane Suban. Oh my god, hold up. Zane Subini likes and get him a gift. Then give him the gift. <laughs> well, I mean, if I'm going to get him a gift, obviously I'm going to give it to him. And see if uh, he will tell you about the Ashlanders uh, and the Nervering Cult. Then report back to me. So I have to take the money, find out what they like. Is this like a Sims game? Caius is zooted again? Yeah, Caius is just zooted again, man. You can see like the... You can see the little skooma, skooma thing right there. Dude's been hitting it too hard. Um, okay, so we we can start the quest again. I wonder if it's because time passed or if it was because uh, uh, we did do some leveling. I think we're, what, level 7 now? Let's see. They're an Ashlander who left the Waste to become a wealthy trader. Uh, not sure where to find him, but I'd try an Ald Scar Inn and Ald Rune first. That's more respectable place than the rat in the pot or the council club. Uh, okay. All right. Well, we are off. Let's see. Let me check something real quick. So we have 10 of these potions. Um, how much money do we have? We have 1k. Shit. All right. I need to buy some potions. Um, I don't think I need to buy too many, but I gotta buy some potions, but I also need to repair my equipment. So, was it you? No, you're a pawnbroker. Who is the one that sold weapons? Or, uh, did like the smithing. Was it you? It was armor. Okay, here it is. Repair. Uh, I need to repair the boots of blinding speed. The Sword of Woe is going to cost 1600 I wonder if that's if that's including the charge. Maybe that's why. All right. Well, you know what? We're not going to do that. <laughs> We're not going to do that. I think I... Do I have some, some uh, repair kits? I have an armor ha uh, hammer. Let's we'll see. Okay, we got it up a little bit. Do you have another one? This How much do those hammers cost? Dunmer. You have any? You have you have twenty of them. Uh, twenty value. How many do twenty of these cost? Five hundred gold. I'm not buying that many. I don't need to buy that many. But what about like, I don't know, like five? Five of them. One hundred and twenty-six. I think the White Woe uh, just has more HP to heal. Maybe. Um, how much did it have? 1,800? Yeah, it does have quite a bit. Okay, let's take that. And then let's see. Because I was able to kind of fix it up quite a, quite quite pretty, pretty good before. Plus, this will help level up my armor skill. So when I have more hammers... Um, the, the sound's going to be annoying. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. Come on! Alright, we're over a, uh, 1,000. We still have 14 uses. Um, yeah, so this is going to level up our armor skill so that when we get more of these hammers, uh, it shouldn't be as painful. Pokemon PTSD trigger? No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 1169. Nice. Nice number. Alright, you know what? That'll do for now. That'll do for now. So, we did that. That was a lot, a lot cheaper. Way cheaper. It's, still, it's not maxed out, but it was still way cheaper. Uh, now we need to come over here. Here. 
I don't know how this works, but I'm going to see... How, how does this work? Because I know that you can increase their inventory. So do I just... Um... We have Restore Magicka. I'm only going to do this. I, I usually, like, I'm not too big on exploits, uh, unless I feel like it's necessary. But I, I feel like this one will just save time with stream. So if I take these, and I sell, let's sell five of them to you. Is this how this works? And then... Oh, wait. So now you have six. So if I buy six of them, it's 827 gold. Um, okay. And the next time that I go to buy some, is it the same amount? God damn it. <laughs> it's only the one. How did, how does this work? Maybe that's not, that's definitely not how it works. Okay. So I lost some money on that, but I'm not too worried about that. Um... Because if anything, I can go back to, uh, what was it, Cedra or something? And just go farm some money. Yeah, so that's not how you do it. Maybe you have to wait, like, 24 hours or something. I just want to make sure that we're good on Magicka. How many would that be? Fifteen? Alright, that'll work. Oh, greetings. How do you do? Maybe talk? Sixty-four Ultra Balls, sixty-four Lura, Lura Balls right away. Two hundred hours of mining iron and farming uh, apricots later. What the hell? That is a lot of money. Mm. Or, <laughs> a lot of money. A lot of time. That's a hell of a lot of time just mining and stuff for a Minecraft server. Okay, so... We need to go to Ald Ruin, uh, which means that we should be able to actually get there from... Nope. You know what? Better idea. Better idea. Boom. We can go from here. Eleven gold. I probably saved us some money there. We're penny pinching right now, okay? We only have 600 gold. You googled the merchant stock trick? It seems like you did it, right? Uh, I wonder if one of the patches that I have just patches it out then. I mean, if that's the case, like, I'm not too worried about it. I just open and close it and open and close it. Because it's, still, it's still a restocking merchant. It's just kind of like... Um, it would have been neat to save some money. Or, not money. Save some time. My brain is not braining. Uh, I did not get very good sleep last night. So, we're trying to find... The, uh... What was it called again? Old Scar Inn. Yeah, we're trying to find the inn. Is this it? No, this has got to be a temple. Temple. You was the server's Pokeball shopkeeper and making the player uh, maker in the player ran market. Yeah, but that's like a lot. That's still like a lot to uh, to put on you. You know. It is the temple. Is it this place? No, that's not it. That's fighters gold. Major gold. Major gold. Trying to see, because I was wondering if I had a sign out front. This place? Council Club. Watch him actually be at the uh, Council Club, or the, was it the Rat in the Hole, or whatever it was called. Hey, you. Keep moving, Outlander. So I'm looking for. Ahead. Hey, you. Speak quickly. Please, have hey, a look you. around. Real monies was given for making large orders due to farming being tedious. Oh wait, real monies. So you were making like like IRL money. I know you can do that. 
That sounds like some stuff from VR chat. Do you guys know that people in VR chat do that? Like, you, you can get jobs in VR chat and get paid real money. Speak, traveler. Because it's like, um, I think it's like our like roleplay servers or something. Uh, let's see. The trader. He'll be downstairs reading or in the back room below the bar. Okay, downstairs. My time is precious, so make it quick. Going downstairs. Isn't this downstairs? Fresh game. Let's ask you them. He's a trader and a wealthy one. He has his own room here. He was born in Ashlander and knows the speech and customs and has grown rich by trading, uh, trading with them for the things prized by Westerners. Is that what you wanted to know? That is not what I wanted to know. Um, I'm trying to see if I can Please find out where they're around. located. Uh, he'll be downstairs reading or in the back room below the bar. I will listen, Outlander, but make it quick. Below the bar? In the back room below the bar? Didn't I not just check all of this? Make it quick, Outlander. Weird. Like, sus jobs? I mean, I don't think that they're sus jobs. They might be. I, I don't actually know. Um, but I would assume not. I don't really know what they, like, what, what it is. Quickly. But I, I figured it was kind of like, because I, I think you can do it with, um, GTA RP as well, right? So I think, it, I thought it was just something like that. Make it quick, Outlander. Yeah, this dude's not in here, man. God, that storm, man. Alright, let's check these other areas. Let's check here. My eye on you. Has no words for you. Uh, because it said that they Speak could be in any anyone. of these other areas as well. Rumors Although you would now. less likely be here. What do you want? So, let's see. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's try the rat place, and then I'll go back to the bar. It can't be that hard to find this guy. The rat in the pot. That's what it's called. Kajit has no I'm time waiting. for you. Quickly, Outlander. I so what do you time. want? Uh, what if I asked you where they were? I don't think I can. Can I ask any of you? Someone in particular? Yeah, you don't have anything on there. Say your needs. Oh my god. Scent is new. Is this? Yo, what is up with your nose, man? You're about to stab somebody with that thing. There it is again. Yeah, like a claw in his nose. Hello? My patience is limited. I'm looking for somebody. I don't know if you guys would know where he is, would you? Sussy. Bro, that dude's nose, like, that that, that shit looked like it was about to like, kill somebody. Speak yeah, he's not gonna be in here either. This storm is so loud. Alright. Back over here. I, I didn't see anything. Like, there was no back rooms or anything. Old Scar Inn. Move along. Summoned by hey, guard, do you know where this dude's at? That's horror. The traitor. He'll be downstairs reading or in the back room. In the back room, below the bar. What is the back room? I will listen, Outlander, but make it quick. Is there like Our a trap door somewhere? Open. <sighs> oh, God. Okay, I'm an idiot. I didn't realize that this was here. This better be important. What's this about? Boom, found you. Nice. May you bless and be blessed. I do not wish blessed. to be rude, 
But if you have business, speak it, for I am at leisure and would prefer to be alone with my thoughts. You sound so calm. All right. Uh, Hassar, I am a retired trader. I am well-traveled and a man of letters, but I am proud of my Ashlander birth and heritage. I think the Ashlanders worship uh, the, like they're the only ones that actually worship the Daedric gods or the Daedric princes. Uh, so I think it's Azura, um, Mafala, and who was the other one? I think there was another one that was pretty common for them to worship. There was three. But it wasn't it wasn't Vivek and um like it wasn't the living gods. It wasn't the tribunal. But there was three of them that were kind of common for them to worship. Benaziah? Benaziah? Wait, what? <laughs> um here, give me a sec. See, this is why I can't I can't stay away from Elder Scrolls stuff for too long. My brain, like I start forgetting it. Uh, Boethia? Wait, was it Boethia? Maybe it was Boethia. That actually sounds right. I know Mafala was one of them. I know, uh, Azura was one of them. It wasn't Hermaeus Mora. It wasn't Clavicus Vile. It wasn't her- it definitely wasn't her scene. Um, Athelia is... Actually doesn't technically exist in the newer games. Uh, or like any of the Elder Scrolls games except for ESO, because that was that was a forgotten one. That was that was basically like one that got stripped of their power or something. They got uh, Hermaeus Mora stepped in for that one. Hermaeus Mora was like, "Fuck no, <laughs> you're going to destroy humanity. Let's not do that." Benaziah is uh. Lyara's mom from Mass Effect. One of these days, we gotta do the Mass Effect trilogy. Definitely not Shio Gorath. Yeah, no, not Shio Gorath. Uh, it's not Mayron's Dagon. Um, it wouldn't be Meridia. Meridia is a weird one, though. Meridia is a very strange. Um. Daedric Prince, because I believe they used to be in Adra, right? Or like they're they're it was either that or they were around or they were the daughter of either Lorcon or uh Magnus. It was one of like the big shots. One of the one of the big guys. Namira. It wouldn't be Namira. Um Periite. I mean, it could be Periite. There is a Periite. Uh, it's not Periite, but there is a Periite uh, statue in Ebonheart. Maybe it's Nocturnal. I don't know. It's either Nocturnal or Boethia. It was one of those. I can't remember. But anyways, let's see. Um, bu -bu -bu -bum. What was I talking to you for? I actually forgot. I've already forgot. What was I here for? Oh, find out what he likes. Right, we gotta find out what he likes, and then we gotta go try and give... How do we give him a gift? My trade. I'm a trader. I know uh, I know the Ashlanders, the people, their ways. I know what to buy and sell, and what will bring good money here among the settled people. Um, business? I see. You wish to learn of Ashlanders from me. And what is it that you wish to learn? Oh, I see. What are their gift-giving customs? A curious question. A gift is a sign of courtesy among strangers, an affection among friends. Among strangers, a thoughtful gift is a sign that uh, you are cautious and considerate and aware of the other's wants and needs, such as uh, particularly useful for traders and travelers. Among friends, it is a private thing and subtle, with great risks. For the test of the gift is how well it is tailored to the receiver. All right. He, li <laughs> he likes su supple Bosmer twinks. 
Shenanigan Gorath. Oh god. Geo Gorath is, is pretty sick. They're pretty sick. You know that there's a um there's a mod that we need to check out for Skyrim that the voice actor for Shio Gorath actually voiced in 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 the mod. And I I I heard a little bit of the uh dialogue from it and it sounds so good. So fucking good. So that that's going to be a pretty cool one. I think that's going to be a maybe like around uh maybe like Halloween or so cuz I think it's supposed to be a creepy one. Uh, let's see. Thoughtful gifts. Yes, a gift that shows you have taken the care, uh, taken the care to learn something of the receiver. For example, I love poetry. No stranger could be expected to know this, but a book of poetry given to me by a stranger shows the giver respects me, and has made a special effort to know and please me. But now, I have answered your question, and would you like some time? Uh, I would like to some time to myself. If you'd excuse me. Okay. So we gotta find a book of poetry. Where can we find that? Uh, bookstore. Let's see if I can find a bookstore. Move along, Outlander. Let's see. Where would a bookstore be? Voice of Shio Grath is cool. Uh, he's a sports announcer. Is he still a sports announcer or no? Because I know that he used to be. General Mer you know what? Let's try general merchandise first. What do you want? Let's see if you might have something here. No. You got one book, that's up. Move along, Outlander. Okay. <laughs> about you got a pawnbroker bookseller here we go bookseller would likely have it so i'm looking for uh a less rude song abc's for barbarians what if i gave him that <laughs> uh ashlander hymns what is a hymn is a hymn like a hymn's not poetry is it Confessions of a Skooma Eater. Oh, I'm kind of curious about that one. Unsure if that's still his occupation, but still a uh, a cool as heck guy. Yeah, no, he, he seems pretty sick. Uh, I mean, like if it's if it's a passion of his to be a sports announcer, then he probably still does it. But if it was for money reasons, um, I mean that dude's like that dude's a really good voice actor. So like, I I, I feel like you know he's probably he's probably doing pretty decent. Guides of Balmara, Vivek, Lives of the Saint, Mysterious Akavir, uh, Mystery of Talara, Part 5. Reflections on Cult Worship. Some sermons. I think one of these days, like toward the end of stream one day, if we're just having like a very chill stream, uh, we might read like a book or two. Or, like a couple of them. Just for the hell of it. The Door of the Spirit. The Mirror, the Red Book of Riddles, Words of the Wind, Words of Clan Mother. Well, see, here's the issue: is I don't know which ones. Let's hear it. I, I don't. I don't know what is um, one for poetry. Can I read these? Okay, I can. I just can't take them. So let's see. Ancestors and Dumbers, Mystery... Okay, Words of the Wind. This is a volume of verses collected by Ashlander Wise Women. May I Shrink to Dust is from the Ashlanders of the Grayslands. May I shrink to dust in your cold, wild waste, and may my tongue speak its last whim to your winds. This doesn't seem like poetry. Poetry rhymes. Folk verses collected from Ashlanders. Uh, what? I wonder as love it is. 
word real together breath and wait do, does poetry not rhyme does i thought poetry rhymes move along or are these not poetry maybe these aren't poetry what's this about let me go down here that shows you how much i know about poetry right oh there's stuff in here wait can i steal this oh i could I could! I don't know what's in here! I'm not gonna do it. Tempting. Very tempting. Bit late to be wandering around, isn't it? Do you have any recommendations? Guild guide. Um. Oh, wait! They tell you! Yes, the Ashlander Trader, a uh, uh, bibliophile, likes poetry. I have a few such volumes here. I believe Words of the Wind, Ashland uh, Hymns, and The Five Far Stars. The Five Far Stars. Let's hear it. Do you have that one around here so I can look at it? I'm actually curious about this one. Confession of the Skuma Eater. Nothing is more revolting to Dunmer filling, uh, filling than the sorry spectacle of another Dunmer enslaved by... That derivative of moon sugar known as skooma, and nothing is less appetizing than listening to the pathetic tale of accumulation and degeneration, de de degradation associated with a victim of this addictive drug. Oh, I am kind of curious about that one. Uh, the mirror. <whistles> You just Try whistle at me? On the streets, and you'll wake up in a jail cell. Is that a threat? Whoa. <laughs> Are you good? See, that guy has absolutely no, uh, no social skills at all. I mean, I can't say anything. I don't either. But like, God, damn, man. Let's try the five stars. Um. Where's that one at? Five stars is 25 gold. Or 29 gold, I guess, because uh, I suck at talking to people as well. So we'll take that. Can I sell you some stuff? You won't take any of this, though, will you? I, I highly doubt you would take any of this. Except for maybe my my um, stuff here. Divine Intervention. Will you take these? I don't know what that just did, but okay. Did I just make money? <laughs> I just made money. Go ahead, stranger. Go ahead, stranger. Respect Roses are red, Dunmer are blue. Keep the mask on, Daddy. <laughs> take Daddy Dagoth. Ooh. -woo. <laughs> See that that is that is that is good shit. That is good shit. Now turn it into um. Uh, what what is the thing called where you have to do like the five seven five? Turn it into one of those. Five syllables, seven syllables, five sy syllables. Should be turning into Try to do that. So <laughs> okay, so you gotta find this place again. Sauce as hell. Yeah, this is sauce, bro. This is sauce. Sauce. Mike, I can't remember if I ever asked you. Have you, have you ever played any Elder Scrolls games? I feel like a lot of people here probably have. But then again, I, I know a lot of people that follow me are actually from Warframe. So. I'm waiting. That's not, not outside of Skyrim, to be to be honest. That's fair. I feel like a lot of people, their first game was either Skyrim or it was um, quickly Outlander. It was either Skyrim or it was Oblivion. Um, I think there was one person that I met whose first game was ESO, which was kind of neat. Sorry, stranger. Yeah. My time is short, is so get on with it. What is your business with me? I have a thing for you. Curtis, wait, no. Uh, thoughtful gift. This is a gift for me. A copy of the five, the five Far Stars, Noble Words of Noble Warriors. I'm grateful. I gratefully accept your gift. My people have never loved the written word, and I lament their ignorant scorn for such common yet potent magic. I thank you, and I honor your courtesy, Kor. 
Uh, it would please me to return your courtesy by answering your questions. What would you wish to know about the Ashlanders and the Narrowing Cult? Let's ask about the Ashlanders first. I believe the Ashlanders, um, it, it's just... I know that they live kind of like out in the wilds and stuff, but I think it's just more so they have different uh, belief systems and stuff. And so they're kind of like outcasts. There is too uh, there is too much to tell here. Take these notes. I've written here what you should know about the Ashlanders and the Nevering Cult. But most of all, if you are visiting a camp, there are things that you should know about courtesy and challenges among the Ashlanders. And since you ask about the Nevering Cult, perhaps you will be interested in my views on the Ashlanders and foreigners, uh, because a guiding passion of the Nevering Cult is their hatred of foreigners. Let's see. Ashlanders and foreigners. Most Ashlanders wish all foreigners and their false gods could be driven from Morrowind. At very least, Ashlanders wish the foreign devils would leave them in peace. Ashlanders think it's, uh, it's shameful to attack unarmed persons, but they will kill without hesitation an armed person who, uh, who often... Uh, I can't read. Who offends them or their clan laws. No Ashlander is full enough to make war against the Empire. However, uh, if such a war might be won, many Ashlanders might cheerfully give their lives to win such a war. I think there was actually something like this in ESO. Because um, in the Morrowind uh, expansion... You had to kind of like make buddy buddy with the Ashlanders because they weren't very accepting of uh, outsiders and stuff. And then there was like this whole battle thing. And it's like if, if we didn't win, then we were kind of screwed. Okay. So let's see, what, what about the challenges? When challenged for sport, it is acceptable to decline. When challenged for honor, it is shameful to, to decline. Honor challenges come from uh, offense given in speech or action, or may represent customary formal challenges of status or ritual. All right, so I think I have everything from you, right? Do you have other information? You have my notes, okay. What about disturbing dreams? Perhaps it means nothing. It is peculiar. The tall figure with the golden mask. It puts me in mind the golden helm of the Ordinator. But that does not seem to fit. Spirit of the dream. My people take careful account of dreams. But only a wise woman can tease from them their meanings. Yeah, supposedly we gotta be careful about who we mention the disturbing dreams to. Because, uh... They can kind of screw us up. Because they'll, they'll end up, like, basically thinking that we're, like, a witch or some shit. Nervering cult. They worship the great Ashkun. And Hor... Hortator. <laughs> Hortator. Nervar, moon, and star. Who, in ages past, destroyed the evil, godless dwarves. And banished the treacherous dagoth Ur And his foul host beneath Red Mountain. The cult is of small consequence in Ashlander worship, and only among the Urshilaku do its followers have any influence. Other Ashlander tribes share the sentiments of the cult, but regard the Nerevarine prophecies with suspicion and skepticism. What is this thing? The Urshilaka, or the Ashlanders of the North, uh, Northern Ashlands, and the West Gash. In uh, in the northwest of Vardenfell, Ashken Sol Matul is their chief, a brave and respected war leader, the warrior poet of the Nerebrine cult. Wait, what? Isn't Vivek the warrior poet? Or is there like is just warrior poet just a title that they give to multiple like different like different people or something? Uh, Dagoth's ultimate plan is to 
is to multiple multiply his house by 10 and then add by 9. It's what? Oh. 69. Vivek is a the warrior poet. Oh, it says warrior protector. Dude, all right. I apologize, man. I apologize, guys. My brain is uh dead. Like I said, I did not sleep last night. I struggled. Uh, Urshalaku Camp. The Urshalaku Camp moves with the herds, uh, but usually lies close to the Sea of Ghosts, north of the village of Margon, on the northern coast of Vardenfell. Yeah, that makes more sense. Warrior protector, not warrior poet. Yeah, because uh, Vivek was... Vivek is the, uh, the warrior poet. Life as a trader. I am too old to travel now to risk the beasts and bitter blights of the wastes. Uh, now I sit here, warm and savor my imported Cyrodelic brandy, while my adventurous son, Hanat, assists me in my trade, seeking out sources of fine ebony and fetching them for fine prices. I wonder if we could find them somewhere. I wonder, uh, I wonder at my son. He has been so long away without a word to his father. Surely he wishes me to die of worry, so he may inherit this fine brandy. <laughs> okay. He has, he has proposed to chart the rarely visited ancient undergrounds, uh, underground complex at Mamaya, west of Red Mountain. If you should uh, chance to see him in your travels, Chide him? What does that mean? What does chide mean? And tell him an old man longs for news of his son and heir. Must be some good good ass booze, right? It's like, damn, I want my I want my parents to die so I can get this booze. That's gotta be some good shit. And they say that alcohol isn't addictive. Summoned by another. Look, as a person who did have an alcohol addiction, I can say alcohol is fucking addictive. Compare it to weed. Um, I, I have I have smoked weed for a long time, and I can also say that weed has I have not once been addicted to it. I've been able to step away from it for a very long time, not with no no consequence. Alcohol, different story. All right, so now we can head back. Um, and we just go get the message over to... What's his face? So, we gotta find the Mage's Guild now. You know what's crazy is that this game has become so addictive that last night... Um, I, I last night, after I finished stream, I made food and then I recorded. I did a, uh, did a recording because I am running up on a deadline for a video that I get done f uh, because the, the, the publisher kind of requires it um and so i did that and then afterwards i was like damn i like i was almost tempted to do a random mass like 3 a.m stream just to play some morrowind <laughs> i'm not gonna do that but like it, it, it was like in my it was like in the back of my head i was like damn warrior poet some may live uh some may die but that's a risk I'm willing to take. Romeo or oh Romeo, would they fight me, Romeo? I will listen, Outlander, but make it quick. So is Vivek just uh, one of the cast members of uh, Romeo and Juliet? Is that what this has become? Yell at the child for being a bad child? Oh. You've been uh, weirdly tempted to play The Sims in the middle of the night lately? What? Uh, wait. What am I doing? I gotta go up here. Uh, have, have you been like watching somebody playing The Sims lately? And then you just kind of like, yo, I wanna wait. What am I doing? I can. Oh, today's gonna be a long day. Uh, I can just recall. What am I doing? Why walk when I can guide? See, it's free. <laughs> it's free, guys. <laughs> I do got to use a potion, though. 
Boom! Why walk when I can guide? No, nope. I'm not gonna do it. Like, why walk when I can fly? Romeo and the Seven Deadly Gladiators? Wait, what? How many Romeo stories are there? I know that there's one that's like a Mafia one. Why don't you turn in? Yeah, after your, your stream last night, I watched, uh, I started watching a Germavod of The Sims. Oh. Gotcha. You know what? That makes sense, though. Did What's you up? speak with Hasur Zain Subani yet? I did. I did. Hello, Caius. How are you doing? Uh, what about the orders? Thank you for your reports, but keep Zanzubani, uh, Zanzubani's notes on the Ashlanders. You'll need them. I'm promoting you and sending you to the Urshalaku camp to speak with Sol Matul and Niban Nib Nib Nibani Mesa. But before you go, I think it may be time to tell you what's going on. Do we learn the secret? The, uh, the Emperor and his advisors think that you have the appearance of meeting the conditions of the Nerevarine prophecies. That's why you were pulled out of prison on His Majesty's authority and sent to me. So you could satisfy the conditions that the Nerevarine prophecies and become the Nerevarine. Here, this is a decoded copy of the coded package you gave me when you arrived. Read it later, it should explain everything. As you'll see in the decoded message, the Emperor and his counselors say that you have the appearance of satisfying the conditions of the prophecy. Do you really satisfy the prophecy? Are you really the prophesized Nervarine? At first, I thought we were just supposed to create a persuasive imposter. Now I don't know what to think, but I am sure of one thing. This is not just primitive superstition and we will treat it seriously, just as His Majesty commands. So, Zen Zen Subani says, Sol Matul and Nibani at the camp uh, are the heads of the Nervarine cult. So I'm sending you to speak to them, tell them, uh, tell them your story, and have them test you against the Nervarine prophecies. As heads of the Nervarine cult, they can best judge whether you satisfy the prophecies uh, when you've spoken to them, report back to me, here's 200 drakes for expenses, and pick up essential supplies at Forn, uh, Fort, Forn? Fort? Moon Moth. Essential supplies? Uh, see this person, that person at Fort Moon Moth. I've asked them to put aside some potions and scrolls for you. Courtesy of the Emperor, in, uh, in particular, you'll want the Cure Potions. I hear the blight is very bad up north, and use divine intervention scroll if you find uh, your in over your head. It will get you uh, safe to an imperial cult shrine where you can heal, refit, and try again. Okay. Whoa, shit! Yeah, the Corverine. Walking is for the common folk. Yeah, look. See, in these lands. There is, uh, there, there's those who walk, and they're called peasants. Us? We ain't no peasants. <laughs> we are gods. We are gods. Look at us go. We just, uh... Oh, look, it's cozy up here. Look at that. Look at those little rods right there. Yeah, they're poking into the organs of that creature, that poor creature, this poor massive bug. Imagine you opened up your front door and you saw a bug like that. That reminds me, uh, early this morning, I, it was like 7 or 8 a.m., I, uh, I had to, like, go and, and, like, check up on the animals and stuff. And I went to feed the outside cats. And, bro, there, there's, like, these two massive fucking spiders outside the front door. And at first I was leaving them alone and I was like, you know what? You do your thing. Just stay over there. And they started coming closer. And so I, I, for like 20 minutes, I was like fighting them. I was like trying to get buckets of water and like throwing it at them because I didn't have anything else to like throw at them. I was like, get out of here. Get out of here. 
Uh, I think I lost, though. So, it didn't really work. So now I'm just not going outside anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna lock myself inside. Oh, they're massive, though. They're like the size of my hand. We make a special trip just for you. Um, so where did I need to go? I needed to go to the camp, but where's the camp at? The camp moves with the, the herds, but usually lies close to the Sea of Ghosts. Uh, north of the village of Margon. On the northern coast of Vardenfeld. Okay, I gotta go to Fort Moonmoth anyways, but I think what I'm gonna do first is uh, I wanna make sure I got some cash on me. So I don't know. Do I wanna do alchemy for that or do I want to try and see if I can sell something to uh, Creeper? Do I have something I can sell to Creeper? I mean I have this. Dwarven Battle Axe. I can sell that. I mean, that's not rare. You know what? I'll do that. That's not rare. So, might as well. Um, I have these. I have the adamant uh, Adamantium. Like, do I want to sell these? Because I kind of want to rank these up. I guess I can't really, like... I, I won't be able to really uh, sell for anything that's more than 10k, right? Dwarven pizza spatula. <laughs> the dwarven, the, the dwarven pizza sta spatula. Oh, skooma. You know what? I can sell the skooma. I think I'll, I, I think I'll take skooma, but I don't think I'll take moon sugar. How much is this? Four hundred and fifty for the Dwemer helmet. I'll take that as well. Okay. See, we can sell this stuff, because I'm not too worried about it. Uh, we can get more of them from the Dwemer places, if I want to decorate. Uh, plus, there's a good chance that we might come into some enchanted ones at some point. So, we're going over to Caldera. Because we gotta go talk to the scamp. Travel. We're going to Caldera. May I help you? Whoop, wrong way. Hello, it's always raining in this fucking game. Uh, this place, right? Nope. Wrong place. Hold up. I already forgot. No, it's this place. Here we go. So, I, I think I mentioned this yesterday. This guy right here, it turns out that Creeper uh, is actually referenced in... I think it's Oblivion? It's in one of the, 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 the later games. Uh, supposedly, this is... Uh, was it Bar Barbarus? Which is the, the dog of uh, Clavicus Vile, the minion of Clavicus Vile. And in the game, he actually like makes a comment about uh, being a merchant living with a bunch of uh, orcs. Say your needs. Crazy. Barbus. Was it Barbus? I always forget how to pronounce his name. It's Barbus, Barbaros, something like that. Apparel. Uh, Dwemer helmet. So 450 for that. We'll sell that. And then we can sell... Can we... We can sell the skooma, right? Yes, we can. So that's 3,200. 3,200! Oh, so much money. Uh, offer. Thank you, come again. So now, we have almost 4K. So we'll be, we'll be, we'll be good for a little bit, just in case we need to spend yes. some money on potions or something. That's all I'm worried about, is like if we need a, a couple, a couple coins for, uh, some potions, or, um, for the, uh, like the shrines. Secure Blight. Something like that, you know? So, let's use our recall. Why walk when I can guide? And then... 
Uh, we're gonna go toward Fort Moon Moth to pick up those potions and stuff that they mentioned. There's probably not- it's probably gonna be like a couple of them, but... I mean, it's free potions and a free scroll, so might as well. Because I- I don't know how long or like how difficult those quests are gonna be in that area. I don't know how long we're gonna be up there. Uh, we can't always just kind of go wherever. We can always come back, so... Just smooth the ride to godhood? Yeah. I probably should have stayed at home and, and slept so it's not dark and raining. I mean, last night, like, before I... Like, after I saved the game and everything, I, it was like screwing around killing the ordinators. Or killing... Not, not the ordinators. Killing the guards. Or, well, yeah. Whatever. Uh, so, like, we're at the point where we could do that. Yes, what is it? I'm looking for... Wait, what are these people's names again? Oh, shit. Wait. I've already forgot their names. Um... We had this thing. What was this? Decoded package. Check the decoded package. Spy Master Caius Caceres, a knight's errant of the Imperial Order of Blades, director of Imperial uh, Imperial Intelligence in Vardenfeld District, Eastern Provinces. I have the honor to acquaint you with His Majesty's wish, uh, which is concerning Kor, an individual of no rank or consequence. Kor has been released from prison by His Majesty's authority and sent to you with this missive. Kor is to be entered as a no uh, novice in the Imperial Order of the Blades and is to serve under your absolute authority as you shall see fit, except insofar as His Majesty's uh, particular wishes are concerned. His Majesty's particular wishes are as follows. A local superstition holds that an orphan and outcast a youth born on a certain day to uncertain parents shall unite all of the tribe, uh, the tribes of the Dunmer, drive out the invaders of Morrowind, and shall reestablish the ancient laws and customs of the Dark Elven nations. This orphan and outcast is called in legend the Nervarian, and is supposed to be a reincarnation of the long dead Dunmer general and first counselor, Lord. Indoril in Nerevar. Kor has the appearance of meeting the conditions of this local superstition. Therefore, it is His Majesty's desire that Kor shall, insofar as it is possible, satisfy the conditions of this ancient prophecy and shall become the Nerevarian. Though this prophecy is indeed only an ancient local superstition, His Majesty has taken counsel on this matter. Uh, with his most expert informants and confidence. And his majesty is persuaded that the prophecy is genuine and significant, e uh, either in its entirety or in several parts. And he earnestly demands you treat this matter with the utmost seriousness. Certain aspects of this ancient superstition are described at the end of this document, and further materials will be forthcoming by a courier at the earliest uh, occasion. It will be, of course, be. It will, of course, be necessary that you acquaint yourself better with the details of the local or the <laughs> of this ancient superstition from your local sources. Since this matter uh, intimately concerns Core, it is expected that you will employ Core to gather information on this subject. His Majesty has taken a great personal interest in the legends and prophecies of the Nervarine and eagerly awaits for your reports. I have the honor to be, sir, uh, your most humble and obedient servant. We're important, guys. We are important. Is that the only one that we had? Mission to Vivek from Caius? No. That was the old one. The history of the Ashlanders, the first area, era, barbaric, 
Dunmer culture settled Dunmer clans, the great houses, and the nomadic Dunmer tribes. Um, okay. You know what's kind of funny is that I didn't know all of the uh, details to like that part of Morrowind, but before I had started streaming, I told you guys about the uh, the Elder Scrolls marathon that I was doing, like just just for myself, just for my like my own personal you know pleasure or whatever. Um, and then during this Morrowind playthrough, not this Morrowind playthrough, but while I was doing Morrowind, uh, after about ten hours, that's when I like was deciding you know I'm gonna, I'm gonna start streaming and all that, and then I stopped playing it. Uh, at the same time, I was doing an elder. I was doing a role play through the Elder Scrolls games. Just like nothing crazy. It was just kind of like my own little thing. I was like, I had this character that I was role playing, and I had like a little backstory for him. And his backstory was that he was originally an Ashlander. Uh, he was a Dunmer. He was originally an Ashlander. That uh, his parents mysteriously died, and he was taken in by. Uh, some nobles who, um, I forgot what the reason was, but basically, like, they, him and his parents, you know, they, they were, they were, they, they knew each other well, right? And so he was secretly a, uh, he was secretly a Ashlander, uh, orphan. Drovis Venom. Dro Drovos? I think it was Drovos Venim, Vanim. Drovos Vanim. Something like that. I forgot the name. It's been a minute, okay? <laughs> it's been a minute. Hurry this up, will you? But I just thought that was, that was cool because, like, if, if, like while I'm reading that, uh, the stuff that I had put as the backstory actually fits in very well with that. Um... I needed to talk to some of y'all for something, and I can't remember who it was that I needed to talk to. Narmok? Narmok is... okay. Hmm. Prison Towers. I'm Larius Vero. Legion champion of Fort Moon. rumors. I've been you might Take care of walking the roads. There have been rumors of a bandit robbing careless tra travelers. Well, that's not what I'm looking for. There was some people here, and I don't have it in my notes. Yeah, I don't have it in my notes, because it wasn't, like, an important thing. But there should be some people here that'll give me some stuff. It's probably not that important. But... I still wanted to see. Wait, am I at Fort... Yeah, I'm at Fort Moonmoth. Okay. It's like, am I at the wrong place? Oh my god, this is tall. Well... I give up. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna look at our map real quick. So I need to make my way... Uh, it was... North of Margon, right? It was north of the village of Morgan, so I got to go all the way to Morgan. Um, where was the place that I needed to go for that? To like travel there. Maybe we'll just travel by foot. Cause we're here. I need to go up here. Oh, that's the camp. Shit. All right. Um. Did I make it to Genesis? I mean, I could travel. I could just straight up travel up there. You're getting- we're getting to your favorite part of the game? Hell yeah. I- I don't think I've ever been in, this far into the game's story at all, so this is all new territory. 
Uh, mine was named Meadow, and she was an orphaned jerkass who was imprisoned for accidentally stabbing her stepfather in the chest 42 times. Holy shit. The way that I wrote mine is I... I, I, it, I mean, it, it's probably not the most lore-friendly thing, but um, it was basically I started off in ESO, and I, I was trying to play as the same character throughout all of the games. So what I did is at the end of ESO, uh, there's this thing that happens... It's a little bit of a spoiler. Kind of. Not really. But basically, after you beat the main story, um, you can go back to the quote-unquote beginning of the game, sort of, to where nobody remembers who you are, and that way you can uh, play as the other factions, because there's three faction main, like, main quest lines in the game, and the way that they work through it is uh, Meridia actually confronts you and is like touch touch my touch my light touch the light of meridia and so when you touch it uh it 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 does like a weird time warpy thing and uh basically teleports you back in time but it's kind of like a parallel universe sort of thing so the way that I did it is I wrote it I wrote it into the, uh my character's lore that when I touched it um, something, th there was something unexpected that happened, at least, uh, like, it, for, you know, my character's point of view, where, uh, I ended up waking up in these places, and in a couple of the games, in a couple of the Elder Scrolls games, uh, I had woke up with amnesia, not knowing, you know, who, like, who my character was and everything, but then, in some other ones, I think Arena was one of them, uh, I would wake up and I would remember, and I would try and write everything down in a journal to uh, keep memories of it. Ba 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 ba. A new hand touches the beak. Our uh, lights. The lights. It's the lights. Here, let me. Um. I just heard a rat. It's still raining! Bro, it rains so much in this game. What is up with that? Is, it, is that just natural in, in Vardenfell? It just rains all the time? I mean, I guess it makes, like, it makes sense as to why there's so much swampy areas. Alright, absorb health. You dead. You dead. What, y'all want some of this? Come on, I'll poke you with the pointy end. Dead. Oh damn, I got a rat too? Oh, I got two rats. Oh, look at that. They're all dead. Welcome to the qu the kingdom of Swamp Ass. Hey, the rain stopped. Nice. The rain... Just had to do it, didn't you? It's a bullshit. <laughs> Ooh, we got big guys over there. Okay. Oh, uh, and we got a Nick. Oh, we got two Nix hounds. All right. You know what? We should be fine. We're actually pretty be beefy now. Yeah, we're kind of beefy now. What's our charge at? We're at, we're at a five? I really need to get my charge up on my weapon. Uh, there's an ad break in about four minutes for the uh, the Twitch peeps. But we're just, we're just going to be traveling the entire time, so... Uh, those who are not subbed, no worries. You should not miss anything. I'm not going to be talking to anybody until the ads are over anyways. Do 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 do. Alright, so we're making our way across this. I actually like being able to do this because we can kind of uncover more of the map. 
Uh, I kind of want to go over there, but I know we're going to get attacked. I don't know what it is with that place. I don't know what those places are. But they really don't like me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Dead. It feels so good. It feels so good that I can actually hit shit now. Because we got our long blade skill up. Uh, our magic skill is, is really good. So, uh, you know, all, all of our stats are doing well. We're at level 8. Um, my agility is at 60. We have a good speed stat, so we can move around fast. Uh, our endurance could be better. Our personality could be better. 61 on strength, and our 61 on longblade as well. So we're just annihilating everything. These guys are friendly. I love these guys. What's up? It's Guargura. <laughs> guys, this is the famous VTuber. Guar Gar Gura. Take that, I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna take that, take that, and that, and that. Nice. Gotta get all that stuff, man. Alright, so we're heading up. We're actually going very fast, but it's because of those boots that we have. I have the boots of blinding speed, so everything's just speedy. They're, they're, they're such snoofy friendos. Oh, they, they are awesome. Guars are, are pretty cool. Uh, I think. I want to say that I have some in ESO. Yeah, I can't remember. I can't remember if I have one as a pet or a mount or both. It's been a, it's been a while since I've been on any on ES. Yeah, it has been a while since I have been on ESO. I actually miss it. Uh, there's a lot of there's some expansions that I have that I I just never jumped into, and I'm just like, bro, I gotta get back into it. No, no, we're good, we're good, we're good. We didn't get diseased or anything. Are you just a rat? I can't really tell, like, visually you can't really tell, uh, regular rats apart from, like, blighted or diseased rats. So. Good god, why is there so many rats in this area? I think somebody left their sandwich out. Come on, come on, come on. Got it. Nice. Very nice. Oh, there's a naked guy over there. Look at that. Why is there always naked guys? What is up with all the naked guys? Also, one of the towns has a, uh... I remember one of the towns having a museum. And they have some rare items in there. Um, and I remember, like, long time ago when I used to, in instead of, like, playing the main story or anything, I would just go around collecting anything that looked rare or shiny. I, I would go in there, and I would, like, sneak and, and steal, uh, some of the cool stuff in there. And I can't remember if there was anything useful in there, but, um, I know that, that the items you can loot. And so I kind of want to, like, go back to that and see if I want to steal anything. I would assume none of it would affect story. There's a lot of alchemy ingredients here. That is great. All right, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna grab all of them. That's a lot of alchemy ingredients. Okay, so we have absorb health on. Come on. Dead. Stay there. Get this one. Another one's dead. I'm just gonna leave them. Let them take forever to respawn. I don't care. I got a lot of other enemies, so uh, we're about to hit Aldrun. And if we keep going north, we will hit uh, Margon, which is where we need to go. So. Keep moving forward. These are all ruined. Look at this place. 
Odorun is pretty cool. Wait, why is there a random person out here? Hello. What are you doing here? Please, can you help me? My husband and I were traveling through here, and we were attacked by a pack of wild Nyx hounds. There were at least three of them. They seemed to come out of nowhere. My husband, uh, Dr Drerel in Darren tried to fight them off. But then, uh, but they were too much for him, and he was forced to flee. I tried to play dead in hopes that the hounds would find no sport in me. I just hope I can find Drarel before the hounds come back. I'll look for your husband. Um, there was at least three of them. Okay. You're willing to do that, thank you so much. I'm sure he didn't go too far because the hounds seem to have hurt him. If I remember correctly, he ran off to the west. But in the confusion, I can't be sure. Make it quick, Outlander. Make it quick, Outlander. Oh, we have we have widget. Oh, I thought the thing, uh, dude. I thought I thought the fucking the the cliff racer saw me. He's about to attack. Like, damn. All right, so. Supposedly he went west. Um, another thing that I want to do at some point, I, I really want to... Because I, I love exploring, right? So I definitely want to kind of visit everywhere that I can. Um, but I really want to try getting to these islands that are around uh, around the map. Just to see if there's like anything out there. So I think that would be cool to do one at some point. All right. Speak, traveler. Put that away. And um. Oh, there's the next hounds. Come on, come on, come on. Die. All right, we're gonna quick save. Quick, quick save. There he goes. Take them. Take them. All right, so um, we're gonna look around. I just realized that the ads had started. Ugh, is that dangerous? Nah, just dirty. All right. Oh, I found him. Hello. You, stranger. Please, can you help me? While traveling with my wife, we were set upon by a pack of wild Nyx hounds. Nice, we found them. Yeah, so uh, I didn't realize that the ads had already started, but uh, for those who are in the ad break, uh, I came across... Th this is a little side quest. I just came across a person who was like, Hey, can you help me find my husband? Uh, we got split up because some Nyx hounds attacked us. Um... So I was like, sure, and then there was two Nyx hounds, I killed them, and then I just ran over here and I found him. Uh, he, was, he was very close by. You've spoken to Fa Falanu, uh, then she's alive. Let's go get back to her quickly. Okay, let's go. Wait, are you following me? Oh, you are following me, okay. We're going this way. But yeah, it's just like a quick little side quest. Now I can see why they, they call this the Asslands. <laughs> Oh god. Because the poopy water. I'm waiting. Uh well I found your husband, but I already I already lost him. Nope, there there he is. There he's running. He's he's coming. I forgot how fast I am. I'm a little too fast. Thank the gods! We been we found her. I thought uh I never thought that I'd see her again. You finding me has truly been a blessing. Thank you so much for your help, Cor. I wish that I had more to offer you. But please take this book. It has uh, meant so much to the two of us. I can only hope you find as much enjoyment in it as we have. Take care. You were literally like twenty yards away. You 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 weren't you weren't that far away. I will listen, Outlander, but make it quick. It was that she was right there. You was over there, like you would have been fine. <laughs> Just yell. We have a cliff racer up there. Oh, we have a cliff racer over there. God damn. The cliff racer infestation. Dead. And I will be 
appreciate taking that. Thank you. I'll take that, and I'm gonna run forward. Saint Job would be would be proud, sire. Hell yeah. Saint Job would be proud of me annihilating these foals with wings that think that they can take me on. That's my guys. Is the ghost fence. That is a fence uh, that is there uh, to protect the rest of uh, Vardenfell because there is a very dangerous disease amongst creatures and other things that lurk within there. And it's very dangerous. And then the big mountain over there, I'm falling and I can't get up. The big mountain over there is... Um, uh, Red Mountain. And Red Mountain has a massive secret that I am pretty sure is not a spoiler because I have mentioned it, I've referenced it many the times, especially when talking to, uh, talking about the Dwemer and the Dwemer, uh, automatons. But, I'm not gonna say what it is. But it is a pretty big secret. Pretty big secret. And we will find it later. We will learn about it later in the game. Throughout the playthrough. Wait, I'm getting attacked by a guar? No, oh, come on. Don't fight me. I'm your buddy. What are you doing? Oh, you're blighted, aren't you? You're blighted, aren't you? I bet you're blighted. Ooh. Ooh. What are you doing? No, no, no. Don't be running, though. No. No, you're just wild. You suck. How dare you attack me like that? Uh, let's take that. Okay. Red Mountain. Yeah, it is Red Mountain. The uh, the place that, uh, in some ways, can also be related. What the hell? Oh. <laughs> Bro, I thought that was something a lot bigger than what it was. Uh, it, it could be related to uh, the red moon that is in the sky. Oh my god, hold up. All right. Oh, there's so many! Why is there so many? What is going on? Hold up. Gotta heal. Gotta, 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 gotta get my magic. Come on, come on, come on. One's down. Another one down. Another one down. Fucking hell, man. Holy shit. There's another one! What? Two of those attacks did not get you? Oh, you know what? I guess it is a variable attack. It, it doesn't always hit for 50. Whew. That was a lot. That was a lot. That, that, that was a lot of- that was a lot of killing. A lot of killing. Alright, so we've made it to, uh, Margon. Which I keep forgetting has a, um, a Silt Strider. So, we needed to go from here up north. But first, let me double check. Let's make sure we don't have no diseases or anything. I don't think we don't. Now we're fine. Alright, we're, we're, we're good. We're good. Um, what are you? Trade house. Let's see what you have. Cause I just, I'm just curious. I'm just curious. You got some Maz, you got some 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 brandy. Please have a look around. Got anybody else trying to sell some stuff? I right. onward. Whoop, don't die, don't die, don't die. Okay, 
Okay, so we'll grab that. Get a little bit of our uh, our alchemy ingredients. What's attacking me now? It's another cliff racer. Are you serious? I fought like five of you guys twenty seconds ago. Die, die! I can't fucking reach you. I can't I can't reach you? I'm struggling. I have to jump. I literally ha I, I have to jump to attack you. There you go. I'm taking some of that health back. Yo! Die, 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 die. Oh. Die, 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 die. Nice. And onward. <sighs> Oh my god! Hi. How you doing there, little flying buddy? You ready to die? There you go. I've contracted hell joint. And now my agility is down. God damn it. Uh, hell joint? What is hell joint? Is that, is that just disease? Because I do have a cure disease potion. Cure common disease? Would that work? Yep. Yes, it works. Nice. Very, very, very nice. Wait, my agility is at 50. No, it's at 60. Okay. okay, so we're gonna move forward. You, you guys know that there's actually a area on the map in Vardenfell um, where the uh, the creatures that spawn there are actually like two or three times their original size. They're they're a lot bigger. I think it's, I think it's like a little Easter egg type of thing, but it is over in um, it's over in like this location. You've never found the Bigsville? I I did when I was doing testing. It took a while for me to find it though. Like it's, it, it, it wasn't just like, oh, I've accidentally wandered into it, you know? Like, if you're looking for it, you'll, you can probably find it, but it, it took some, it, it actually took some, like, looking. It took quite a bit of looking. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, so we're here now. Ooh, there's a little place here. What the hell are you? Are you a zombie? Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Come on. Yo! That's the wrong spell that I didn't want to use, but I got it anyways. That's fine. Item doesn't have enough charge. Well, tough. That's too damn bad. I shit myself a little bit. <laughs> Every now and then I hear what sounds like a horn. I don't know what that's from. I don't have any ambiance vo uh, mods, by the way. So that's natural. Very weird. It's my butt? Is this just my stomach rumbling? Is that all it is? Toot toot. Toot toot. Toot toot, motherfucker. Toot toot, goddamn. Alright, okay, I'm just gonna let you sit there and rot. So, we're about to come up across the tribe. I believe it is there. They are right next to a Daedric. Good god, man. You're literally. A camp right next to a Daedric, t uh, Daedric, uh, ruin. Right next to a Dwemer ruin that is right next to another Dwemer ruin. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. They're busy in these areas. 
make it quick. Dodgy, 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 dodgy. What's up, my dude? So, um, who do I need to talk to? It's funny to see how close this stuff is. Yeah, because in the original game, so here, let me let me show you guys, uh, just for those who aren't aware. So if I stand up on this hill, right? This is what the original, like, view of it was. I believe, actually, hmm, which one was it? Let me see, details. So I have it at times four. It was either, I don't think it was this bad, was it? I don't think it was this bad. It was either that or it was at uh, times one. I'm not entirely sure which one's which. But yeah, see, like, you can see that there, and then, like, there's the camp. But you can't see the rest of it. I kind of like this, though. Like, it's very moody. It is very moody. I kind of like it. Um... But I did up it, because I figured that people would like it if it was upped. So I have it set for times four. I can't set it to max or anything, because if I set it to max, then it is it is a resource hog. But also, I, I feel like it's not as... It's not as atmospheric if you could just be on one side of the map and see the other side of the map. So... Ashlands are so eerie with this draw distance. Yeah. Should I drop the draw distance, or should we leave it? I mean, I think I think times four is is all right, but I'm definitely willing to drop it down to like times three or times two. Oh, that looks crazy. For there. What was that? Oh my god! Hi! Hello! How are you doing that? You, you you explode, don't you? Damn, these guys remind me of, uh, have you guys ever seen the movie The Mummy? They have these, like, beetles in that movie that crawl into your skin. They'll crawl into your skin and I think they'll kill you that way. And that, that movie, when I was a kid, I remember watching that, and uh, that was the scariest thing in the movie to me. The Beatles. And so I thought that the Beatles, for a long time, I thought those Beatles were real. And I was like, uh-uh, uh-uh, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want to touch Beatles. You, you like seeing the higher draw distance for once? Maybe lower it anytime that you want to add a little bit of a spooky atmosphere? Uh, true. I do want to do some some horror uh, horror mods for this at some point. Th this will be after the playthrough. It'll be a, it'll be a separate thing. But I do want to do like some horror mods with this, and I think that'll be fun. I might end up using the same character because uh, I'm pretty sure I can mod the fuck out of this game without it actually breaking the character or anything. Even if it's mid save. You know exactly what I mean. Yeah, those things oh, terrified me. So I needed to talk to. It's like I got distracted. Um, Sol Matul and Nabani. Speak, traveler. Who are you? Okay. I'm waiting. My time is precious. I'll make it. Ooh, quick. this looks. This is kind of crazy. That looks kind of crazy, man. Um, Speak, traveler. Saban, is it you? You come to talk, then talk. You want to speak to Sol Matul. You want to speak to Nabini Mesa. Have they sent for you? Yes? I have not heard of this, so go and find some others who has. Well, where are they? Make sure not to insult them, yeah. I mean, like, maybe I could toss some, some gold their way, right? That's the way of uh, Vardenfell. 
You piss somebody off, toss some money their way, they'll be happy. It's like, what, you just call me a bitch? Here's a hundred gold. Oh, hi. <laughs> yeah, would you like me to shine your shoes? I will listen, Outlander, but traveler. make it quick. Where are these guys? You know what? I can rest here. Resting here is illegal. What fucking guard is gonna arrest me here? This is a camp, man. Go away. What need do Ashlanders have for conventional money? Make it quick. Uh, what need do um Amish people need for conventional money? But they still sell stuff to make conventional money. You know. Actually lasted. We didn't die. Nice. Okay, so we're looking for. Go ahead. Oh wait, here. Let me talk to you. If you want to talk, then talk. Uh, no. If they have not sent for you, then you will not speak to them. You are an outlander, and Sol Matul is our chief, and Abani is our wise woman. They will not speak to you. Well, I need to speak to them. Okay, so I am going to speak to them. Make it quick, Outlander. So oh, fuck you. I would like. I feel like it would probably be this tent, right? Hi. How did you get in here? Oh, it's you. Once, or I will kill you myself. Can I give you some money? I might have made the man. Wait, what do I do then? Um. Bring me a Kwama egg, for I am hungry. Shit, you know what? Maybe I should have been bringing them gifts. God damn it. Mm. Alright, where can I find a Kwama egg here? Hi! Are you dangerous? No, not really. I think we might be kind of strong, guys. <laughs> Yo! It's a clan fear! At least these Atronachs don't explode when they die. Uh, it's also another interesting thing. These Atronachs are actually male. Which, in uh, the later games, all of them are female. Um, I don't really know the reasoning for that. I just always thought that that was kind of, uh, interesting. It's, it's also like that in, in the older games, too. Like, uh, like, you know, Daggerfall. I don't remember if they actually existed in Arena or not. I can't remember. There we go. No, I was watching my health, don't worry. Come on, get rid of the scamp, get rid of the scamp, get rid of the scamp. Okay, guys, try to pronounce that word. Try. You, look at my mini-map, there's a word at the top. That is the name of this ruin right here. Try to pronounce that. Some of the places in this game, man. My voice cracked. Some of the places in this game, like, they are... The names are insane. I have to bring you a Quarma egg. Is there, like, a... Are there Quarma mines here? A 
Daedric Ruin over there. Hello? Why are you attacking me? Yo, hey, what the fuck's up with you? Come on! An Ash Slave. Ash Souls. Why were you attacking me? What the hell was that about? Okay, so I'm looking for a cave. Ooh, we got, we got a zombie. Um, I'm looking for a cave because I want to see if we can find like a um thing here. Ashunabitashpi is pronounced Ashunabitashpi. Make sure to visit Ashunabitashpi when you are in the area. We here at Ashunabitashpi would love to have you over for dinner. That's a mouthful, isn't it? That's a lot of words. That's a lot of pixels, but not a lot of answers, you know what I mean? Okay, so we're trying to find a place that's got quarma eggs. That looks like a giant quarma egg. What the hell is going on here? Is this a house? Is that a dead silt strider? Oh, that's sad. That's kind of crazy though. I've never seen one that that's like not like that's just wild. Like this is a wild one. You can tell because like it's not cut into. Because the ones that people use, like they, they cut into them to use their organs to, to navigate them. This one's not cut. Poor silt stridy boy. Yeah, that, that is crazy. It also makes me sad. I, I think uh, the one that's in the expansion for Skyrim, uh, I think that was like the uh, the last. Let's go over here. I think that was like the last Silk Strider that that existed, and it sucks because I like those guys. Um, there is a mod that I actually think is really cool. It makes it so the Silk Strider will like roam around and stuff, but I think it adds some in, so it's it's a little unlore friendly, I guess. No way. But Yeah, that's sad, man. Yes, okay, so we got that guy there. This place looks cool. Oh wait, we have a cave. Sar Sargon. 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 There is no escape. There is no escape. Ooh, you hit kind of hard, right, dude? You will die. Will I? Oh, you actually are kind of difficult. Whoa. Uh oh. All right, we'll just we'll just keep using our spells. What the hell's going on here? Steel long blade, bone mill. I guess you're just a tanky one. That was unexpected. Is there going to be another one of these guys? It might have been the last Soul Strider or the last domesticated Soul Strider. I can't remember. Oh, it might have been the last domesticated one. If it's, I mean, because I, I, I thought that it was the last Soul Strider because uh, Soul Striders are native to Morrowind. Uh, but Vardenfell was destroyed. Technically, I don't think that all of Morrowind was destroyed. I think it was just Vardenfell. Um Now you die. Arrah! 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 Stop it! Yo! Okay, hold up, we got to run. We got to run. We got to run. We got to run. Who? <laughs> Yo, yo, oh shit, one of those attacks hit kind of hard. Um, I mean, we are towards the top of the map. That's the first time that we've, like, I've had to actually worry about dying for a while. 
Okay, let's get us one of these in. And let's go in. Absorb health. We're, we're, there you are. Savage. To be fair, you are using the damn battle axe. Ooh. Calling me that? Show. Oh, that was close. Oh, that was close. Imperial dragon scale. Oh, it's medium. That sounds so cool, though. Twenty-four pounds? I'm gonna carry it for a bit. I had to get my revenge. She was beefy? All of these guys are. Both of those, they, they, they were pretty strong. I didn't expect that. What's the dragon scale short look like? Uh... That's what it looks like. It literally looks like scales and stuff. It's medium armor, so I'm assuming it's leather. Um, not bad. Not bad. Oh, we got a mitt. Yo, no, I'm good. I'm gonna come back later. I don't- I don't want no permanent debuffs to my- my, uh, strength at the moment, you know? I think I'm gonna try and avoid that while I can. Until I figure out this Korma egg situation. Alright, well, at least- is that marked on our map now? I gotta run away before it might show up. It does not show up. Okay. I want to make sure that I'm marking these. You have Soul Trap uh, now, right? Yes, I do have Soul Trap. Sargon. Oh, wait, it's not going to show up. It shows up on the local map. It's not going to show up on the other map. Okay. You're like five minutes away from the Golden Saints, if I recall. I am going to go out on a limb and say I probably cannot take a Golden Saint. I also don't have a soul gem to capture it with. Um, I do want to do the Azura quest line at some point. Because then we can get the star. And uh, then we have a permanent, you know, soul gem. To store whatever we want into it. But... It depend, like, considering how those guys were, I, I, don't, I don't know. Because the Golden Saint's supposed to be, like, one of the most difficult creatures, right? Is there a star is in Morrowind? Uh, I believe it is, yes. I know her shrine is in it. Her, her shrine is... Uh, oh my god, that was pixelated. Her shrine is, like, somewhere in this area, I think? I'm pretty sure it's over in, like, this area. Unless there's multiple shrines, but I only know of the one. Excuse me, I gotta kill this guy and I don't wanna hit you. Thank you. Come on. You do make a good point though, like I, I, I would like to try and um, get some enchantments on my uh, either get some enchantments on my armor or get better armor in general. 
Uh, the issue is that, like, if I was to get enchantments on my armor, I would prefer to get ones that have permanent buffs. And I can't do that unless the soul has a value of over, um... Uh, 400? The value is over 400? I, then again, I think, I think, I think, uh, the Golden Saints do... Like that, that, that would definitely be one. It's just, that would be a hard fight. And I don't know if I'm ready for that yet. I think I'll come back in like 10 levels. <laughs> I'll come back in like 10 levels and try it. No, 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 no. Run away, run away, run away. <laughs> run away. I'm just exploring these little places because I want to see if there's any caves or anything because I'm trying to find... Uh, I'm trying to see if there's a Korma mine around here. I don't know if there is. I might have to go back to the lower parts of Vardenfell. Um, which isn't an issue. It's just that... If I don't have to do that, and I, I can explore new territories while looking for that, then I'm going to do that. We have an ancestral tomb. Hey, Leo. I just want to see if there's anything in here. Let's see if there's any, any goodies in here. Come back in like 10 naps and you'll be good? Yeah. I, I, think, I think after like 10 levels or so, because... Um... We should be, considering how we are now, I, I, I would say that we're probably going to be pretty damn strong then. Uh. A common ring. Some bone mill. I'll take that. I'll take that. Yeah, I'll take that bone mill, yeah. Ooh, we have a flame match knock. All right. Ooh. Come on, 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 come on. Oh, that was close. I should rest and meditate on what I've learned. So we are actually getting pretty close to uh, level 10. Yeah, because we'll be level 9 then. So I got to find the... Um, Bed. The legendary cumin ring. It's like, oh, fuck. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good. We blocked it. We blocked it, no worries. It's the cumin ring. Speaking of cumin, uh, do you guys eat the, the spice cumin? No, I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a big fan. I'm not a big fan of the cumin. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not my thing. It's not my taste. I'm not a big fan of the taste. Ow. Come on, come on. Petronach, Tushy really pulling weight though? Daedra heart. Ooh. Daedra skin. Does it sound appetizing? Yeah, uh, I, I remember my aunt used to make hamburgers that had it in it. And I was just like, these are the worst fucking hamburgers that I've ever had in my life. But I, I never wanted to, like, say that, right? I, I'm not, I'm not a, I, I just wasn't a fan of the spice. Atronok Tushy, aka Spell Absorb. Is that what you call it? You call Spell Absorb uh, the Atronok Tushy? What is going on here? Expensive belt. Expensive amulet. Is this trapped? No? No? 
wants to play. Weird. Okay. Oh, it's locked. <laughs> Damn, I thought it was trapped. I was like, oh shit. I ran into it again. Okay, let's use uh, let's use our apprentice probe. We gotta probe this shit open. Second spooky in here. Oh wait, that's not the right. Probes are for getting rid of traps, right? There we go. Another scamp. Probe to traps ye. Yeah. That makes sense because I'm I'm just I usually run with magic on my characters, so I like I I, I have no clue. Um But it makes sense that they would have an option or like a way to do it without using magic. <gasps> Ring of Transfiguring Wisdom. Cast when used. Fortify skill and chance. Seven points for thirty seconds. Ooh, I'll take that. So it increases our enchantment skill? Crab meat. Coom coomer berries. Yeah, we got coomer berries. Uh, that astronaut here. Wait, was that it? What was it? Yeah, it was. Damn! Hello. I actually need to use you, because I gotta heal. Mysticism level 48. Oh, yes. That is good shit. That is very good shit. Ow! That was rude. Crab meat. Okay, we'll take that. <sighs> want some of this? Want some of this? Want some of this? Take all of this. Okay, so we're still looking for some areas. There's a place up there. You know what? I don't know why I didn't think about it. I could literally just go back to uh, Mar Margon and possibly buy a Quarma Egg. But then I wouldn't be able to explore all these lands. And I want to explore. I want to explore. I got to explore. I want to see what that building is up there. Yeah, there's like a little house up here. I hope they're friendly. If they start attacking, I'm gonna have to probably dip. Because, like, this feels like quest-ish type stuff. The way the house is just kind of out there, you know? Come on, just die. Feels like part of a quest equals you. Yeah, that's why I'm like, either it's part of a quest or they will give a quest. Cause like that's kind of fancy. Like, this is kind of like a very peculiar area. Old Redine Dine. All right, you know what? Considering we immediately get start getting attacked by skeletons, I think we'll uh, run. <laughs> we won't risk it. Just in case. Just in case it is a story thing. Or not a story thing, but like a quest thing. I don't want to break anything. I'm not trying to break quests here if I can avoid it. Oh, I saw something shiny in the water. Okay. Uh, we're going to get my levitate. And... Boom! Crease fiber keeps you regular. Got poopy issues? Just eat some crease fiber. Did I ever... Did I go through this one? I went through this one, right? Yeah. 
Just some of that fever, bruh. Okay, it's the fish. It's just the fish. No worries. Just fish. I can go that way. I think I'm gonna go back to the mainland. And uh, I think what I'll do is I'll kind of head down toward uh, Margon and just see if either they have some uh, some Korma eggs to buy or if Maybe, um, maybe there's an area around there that, that I can, like, get them from. I wonder if I have to get a gift for everybody. Hmm. Do, 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 do. I like how I completely forgot that I needed to give them a gift. Like I, I, like, I was reading it, like, like they mentioned it multiple times, and then I was just like, hey, let me go talk to these guys. There's another dead Silk Strider. Silk, Silk Strider. Ah, oh, it's so sad! You guys, we're headed this way. We're getting chased by some- oh, never mind. We're good now. Um, yeah, that's a big bee. Okay, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. We'll get over this mountain in a second. Let's go! Woo! Look at that. Flying so high in the sky. Ooh. What is going on here? I'm very curious about that place. Okay, so we gotta go this way. We're gonna have so many of those guys out on our ass. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go. Okay. We've arrived. And now... What is this? Beneath Red Mountain, Lord Dagoth sleeps, but when he wakes, we all shall rise, and the dust will blow away. Serve your lord, Dagoth Ur. The sixth house has risen, and Dagoth is its glory. Um, they got the Ur. He is our. He is the Lord and Father of the Mountain. He sleeps, but when he wakes, we shall rise from our dreams. We shall sweep our land clean of the Inwa. Why have you denied him? As Lord Dagoth has said, all shall greet him as flesh or as dust. My time is precious, so make it quick. That was random. Here you go, my tribal friends. A gift from civilization. It's called a Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Mr. Beast in Vardenfell. Hello, I would like to give everybody here a Nintendo Switch. Not only a Nintendo Switch, but an entire uh, uh, hotel. Each one of you now have a hotel that you have to maintain and pay bills on. But only, and only, if you can stay within this Walmart full of alligators and survive for 32 days straight. With no food, electricity, or anything. Just alligators. Living alligators. Speak, traveler. Pitter patterns, bro. 
Got those pitter patters. Trade house. Yo, you got, um, car armor. You got car armor eggs. Offer. Nice. Our doors are always open. We have Quorma eggs, which means that now, um, is there an inn here that I can sleep at? Now we can go and, uh, provide that individual with a Quorma egg. And hopefully that's enough to let us talk to the people. Otherwise, I'm going to have to do a thing for everybody. What is going on? Beneath Red Mountain, Lord Dagoth sleeps. When anyone wakes, we all shall rise, and the dust will be blown away. Serve your Lord. Six house is risen, and Dagoth is his glory. What is going on? My with time you? is precious. So what's up with you? What, 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 what is going on? Yeah, your time's precious. You keep on talking to me about your 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 your, your stuff. What's going on with that? Huh? What's going on with that? Very strange of you. Next Mr. Beast video. I gave everybody a local Amish community <laughs> on to civics. I went to an Amish, <laughs> an Amish village and gave them all computers. Brand new gaming computers. And I taught them how to stream on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Amish peeps. Yo, two times four on our strength. Holy shit. Uh, 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 let's see, we got our willpower and our agility. That's good stuff, man. Getting strong, yeah, that's, that's, dude, we're getting, we're getting buff, man. We are getting buff.